want you to notice that the comforter is also called the spirit of truth. Well, what is truth? His word. Amen. You see, the way God comforts us is when we have the word of God dwelling richly within us. So it's not the spiritual blanket or spiritual shoulder he gives to you for you to cry on, though that's part of the Christian life. You just weep unto the Lord and you just kind of like, you know, pour out thine heart like water. But the main way, the way God comforts us is by the word of God that the Holy Spirit brings into our remembrance. That's why it's important that you read the Bible cover to cover. That's why it's important that you get familiar with the Psalms. Why? Because in times of trials and tribulation, that's what the Holy Spirit is going to use to bring into remembrance to comfort you in. But here's the thing. If you don't read the Bible, if you're not memorizing the Word of God, if you're not allowing the Word of Christ to dwell in you richly, what is He going to use? Nothing. What are you going to do then? You're going to go to your worldly songs to forget about these woes of life. You're going to go to that old girlfriend or, or your friends of the world or to some drug or vice that you used to do back in the day to comfort you in a time of trial. That's not what God wants. God wants you to dwell upon his word. God wants you to remember his promises. It's his promises that allow us to basically say, hey, you know, it's okay. God's going to help me through this. He's going to give me the grace that I need. I remember the scriptures that talk about these specific promises, and it helps you get through the trials. You don't have to turn there, but Psalms 119.71 says, It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. Verse 70, 76 says, Let I pray thee thy merciful kindness be for me, be for my comfort according to thy word unto thy servant. Look, I'm not against giving someone an encouraging word when they're going through a trial. That's good. That's okay. But you know, more so than that, you know what they need? They need the Bible. Amen. They need the word of God. They need the book of Psalm. They need to just sit down and read the Bible and allow God to just minister to that person Amen. through his word. Okay.